now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, an active week of weather underway, not unusual for the first week of May, but hopefully we get a lot of it out of here in time for what will be uh, at least a decent weekend. It was a beautiful Sunday. Today, though, the clouds moved back in, but temperatures very close to normal. 48 was the low and 74 the high. And highs did range a bit from 68 in Fairfield, where the clouds thickened up earlier, to 79 in Madisonville. And again, tomorrow, I think we'll have about a 10 degree temperature spread from highs around 70 to the north and around 80. Uh, down here in our southern counties. And we got a little rain out there tonight, not too much on live first warning Doppler radar, more in our northern and western counties. But you notice some thunderstorms down in far uh, western Kentucky, Boot Hill, and Missouri. Matter of fact, there was a warning on one of those down in uh, the Boot Hill, and they're moving our way but weakening. But what's been pretty quiet this evening will be picking up some overnight. You may hear some thunder, but we're not concerned about severe weather uh, tonight. But our roofclaim.com tower camera looking down on the Owensboro Riverfront on a nice warm evening. Downtown Evansville, the riverfront and our Superior Ag Tower camera where the temperature right now at 64. Northeast wind at around 6 and temperatures won't be falling all that much more. We're in the mid to upper 60s for the most part, though Tell City and Morganfield are a bit warmer at 70. I think we'll wind up for a while between 60 and 65 then rise up to between 65 and 70 by daybreak tomorrow morning as a warm front lifts through that area. And the system well to our west has been active today with the severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings and a long line of severe thunderstorm warnings there across all of southeastern Oklahoma into northwestern uh, Arkansas. No tornado warnings right now. And there's that one little severe thunderstorm warning near the boot heel of Missouri and far northwestern uh, Tennessee. Most of the storm reports today were fairly scattered. There were a few reports of tornadoes in Oklahoma back into southern Kansas and then spotty wind damage reports through the uh, southern and central Central Plains and even mid Mississippi Valley. So you can kind of see the stormier weather off here to the west that's moving our way, but is expected to weaken. The Storm Prediction Center and their update this evening still holding that marginal level one threat for severe weather just off to our southwest. So we'll keep an eye on the storms as they move in overnight. Future Tracker uh, does keep them a, a bit on the strong side for a while. This is 3 a.m. We got a little cluster crossing Highway 41, but they all fade away by 7 o'clock in the morning. So unless you have a really early commute, not expecting too much rain uh, for the morning commute tomorrow. And then we'll see some sun developing and then at least some scattered showers and thunderstorms redeveloping in the afternoon. And that's where the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal level one threat for a severe storm, isolated damaging wind and hail just southeast of Evansville. But our future tracker model for the second consecutive run is not getting aggressive at all with the storms tomorrow. Just a few developing there in our southeastern counties between about two and four in the afternoon afternoon. They quickly exit. Uh, temperatures again will be in the 70s tomorrow. Tomorrow night will be dry as will Wednesday. We'll be in between systems with a little sunshine and highs still pretty seasonable around 70 degrees. Thursday though we dawn dry with maybe a little bit of sun. This is 7 a.m. Thursday and then more showers and thunderstorms begin to work back in from the west. You can see them crossing I-57 there uh, Thursday afternoon around the noon hour and the Storm Prediction Center has at least a good deal of the tri-state under a level one marginal threat for Thursday afternoon and evening. That slight risk is just off to our southwest. That will certainly be fine-tuned, I think, in the next couple of days. Uh, some uncertainty in terms of the timing of these storms, some of the guidance slowing them down, and just to how strong they're going to be once they make it into our area. But overnight, uh, scattered showers, some thunder showers, uh, and then they'll be diminishing by daybreak. be breezy and warm, 62 to 65, but rising uh, towards the sunrise tomorrow morning. And then we'll see some clearing tomorrow, just some scattered showers and thunderstorms during the day that isolate severe threat in our southeastern counties in the afternoon. 71 to the north, 81 to the south, mid-70s here in the metro. Seven-day forecast, a little sunshine on Wednesday, 69, then mostly cloudy Thursday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms moving back in during the afternoon into Thursday night. That isolated severe threat, 75. Some storms could linger into Friday morning, but I think by Friday afternoon, it's just going to be off and on rain. That's your weather wear tag for Friday. Be forced inside, I think, at some point during the day, a windy 70. Hopefully the rain ends either late Friday or early Saturday. Then gradual clearing on Saturday, 69. Sunday will be the nicer weekend day again with mostly sunny skies and highs back into the mid-70s. So it could get a little noisy overnight, but again, not too concerned about severe weather for tonight. All right. Thank you, Wayne. Yeah.